This video explains how to convert from decimal to binary, decimal to octal, and decimal to hexadecimal. Let's convert the decimal number 3521 to binary. The first step is to divide 3521 by 2. I'm going to divide it without using calculator. So 3521 divided by 2 is 1760 remainder 1. If you are using a calculator, the result is 1760.5. So in that case, you'll have to multiply 0.5 by 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. Since we have one number to the right of the decimal point, we need to move the decimal point in our answer one place to the left. But the trick here is whenever you get a decimal point in your answer, that means it's remainder 1 in binary. Now, let's take the quotient 1760 and divide it by 2. 1760 divided by 2 is 880 remainder 0. Let's just continue dividing until the quotient becomes 0. 880 divided by 2 is 440 remainder 0. Next, 440 divided by 2 is 220 remainder 0. Next, 220 divided by 2 is 110 remainder 0. Then, 110 divided by 2 is 55 remainder 0. And 55 divided by 2 is 27 remainder 1. Then, 27 divided by 2 is 13 remainder 1. Next, 13 divided by 2 is 6 remainder 1. Then, 6 divided by 2 is 3 remainder 0. Then, 3 divided by 2 is 1, remainder 1. Then, 1 divided by 2 is 0, remainder 1. Always remember that once we have a quotient that is 0, we can stop dividing. At the bottom, we have the most significant bit or MSB and the top, we have the least significant bit or LSB. Then, we are going to read the remainders from the bottom to the top. So the binary equivalent of 3521 is 1101000000001 base 2. We write a little 2 down here to indicate that this is a binary number base 2. Let's convert the decimal number 3521 to octal. The first step is to divide 3521 by 8. I'm going to divide it without using a calculator. So 3,521 divided by 8 is 440, remainder 1. If you are using a calculator, the result is 440.125. So in that case, you'll have to multiply 0.125 by 8. 125 times 8 is 1,000. Since we have 3 numbers to the right of the decimal point, we need to move the decimal point in our answer 3 places to the left. Now let's take the quotient 440 and divide it by 8. 440 divided by 8 is 55 remainder 0. Let's just continue dividing until the quotient becomes 0. So again, let's take the quotient. 55 divided by 8 is 6, remainder 7. Then 6 divided by 8 is 0, remainder 6. Always remember that once we have a quotient that is 0, we can stop dividing. At the bottom, we have the most significant bit or MSB, and at the top, we have the least significant bit or LSB. Then, we are going to read the remainders from the bottom to the top. So, the octal equivalent of 3521 is 6701 base 8. We write a little 8 down here to indicate that this is an octal number base 8. Let's convert the decimal number 3521 to hexadecimal. The first step is to divide 3521 by 16. I'm going to divide it without using a calculator. So, 3,521 divided by 16 is 220 remainder 1. If you are using a calculator, the result is 220.0625. So, if that's the case, you'll have to multiply 0 0.0625 by 16. 0 0.625 times 16 is 10,000. As you can see, we have 4 numbers to the right of the decimal point. So we need to move the decimal point in our answer 4 places to the left. Now, let's take the quotient and divide it by 16. 220 divided by 16 is 13, remainder 12. The hexadecimal value of 12 is C. Let's just continue dividing until the quotient becomes 0. 13 divided by 16 is 0, remainder 13. The hexadecimal value of 13 is D. Always remember that once we have a quotient that is 0, we can stop dividing. At the bottom, we have the most significant bit or MSB, and at the top, we have the least significant bit or LSB. Then, we are going to read the remainders from the bottom to the top. 
So, the hexadecimal equivalent of 3521 is, is DC1 base 16. We write a little 16 down here to indicate that this is a hexadecimal number, base 16. Now you can try to answer these problems. You can leave your answer in the comment section below.